You are listening to Dear Ursula Worldwide Podcast. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of the Devil X. Worldwide podcast. Hey, 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 my name is Davis and I'm from Haiti, but I'm living in Dominican Republic. I'm here, positive power 21. Jerry was live worldwide. All right, you tell him, little buddy. What's up, everybody? Welcome, welcome to Late Night with Jerry was live worldwide, part of the Monday Night Triple Podcast. And my co host tonight is the lovely Paula G, the voice coming out of Atlanta. Georgia, that's right, the Batman is in Maryland, that's right, celebrating some beautiful weather, hope you guys got a chance to get out there, heard out there in Seattle, they almost hit 60 degrees out in Seattle, Washington, that's right, weather report given by ProFact, Miguel ProFact, all right, everybody, we hope you had a great weekend, that's right, Monday, top of the week, a lot going on in the news, but if you're just chilling, relaxing, just checking out some, some movies you need to catch up with, that's a good thing. Because the good pastor, Kevin Johnson, said we just we just have too much noise in our life right now. And this is a good time to take take a little break. Some of us average about six to eight hours on social media. And you can tell just by looking at your phone, because they will report that on on your iPhone how long you've been doing social media. And some of you be you'd be surprised how much time you put in there. All right, tonight, tonight. We got some awesome guests. I think they're coming out the South. I'm not mistaken. I believe Florida. We got 4G's going to be joining us along with Canton Jones. And we got two singles we're going to play. And you guys get a chance to check out their music. Right now, let's chit-chat a little bit with Paula G, the voice. What's up, Paula G? How you doing? Is that you, Paula G? All right, I thought I thought I hit the right channel with Paula G. That may not be the right channel. Maybe this is the right channel. Is that you, Paula G? Paula G. She must be on mute. All right. Can't find Paula G right now. I don't know what channel she's coming. Let's try this channel. Paula G, is that you? Yes, and I was not muted. You pushing the wrong button. Yeah, see, every <laughs> time you call me, it says something different on the call ID. It's saying Brooklyn, New York. I don't know. I don't, well, I, I don't know. I'm yeah. dialing it on the same number, so who knows? Yeah, so that Who was knows guess. what technology is doing these days? How are you? Batman is fine. Yeah, just, just um, teleworking Wonderful. and, um, you know, catching up with some stuff, you know, around the house. Mm-hmm. Yeah, walking, getting I some exercise. You. Yeah, me and me and Mila. Yeah. Yep, children home. You and Mimi. Yeah, <laughs> the kids baby. are home. Kids are home. My daughter's home from college doing her schoolwork, and Jordan just laying okay. in bed. He just laying in bed, just <laughs> playing video games until four or five everybody's, o'clock. Everybody's everybody's chilling. Everybody and chilling. The queen is the queen is doing well. Oh yeah, she's been grinding. She 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 been working. <laughs> she yeah. she work harder yeah. at home than she does at work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. How are you? How I you know. doing? See, so you still going to the gym? Is that safe? Well, yeah. Well, that yeah. Last week, I think that was probably my last my my last go um, for a minute. But as my sister just said, my bills are paid. My family's good. The Lord's been good to me, so I am good. I yeah. cannot complain, even in the midst of everything that's going on. I cannot complain. I am good. My heart is at peace because this too shall pass. It might be a minute, and it may be a journey, but it's gonna pass. And we're going to be all right, everybody. We're going to be all right. That's right. But all is well. I got one daughter home here and, and the family in London. Everyone's fine. The prime minister just announced a lockdown for them for the next two weeks. But they're good. They've got what they need. Got a nice little fenced-in backyard so the kids can get out there and play, get some fresh air. So yeah. uh, everybody's everybody's good, as the song says. We yeah. good. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> thing. That's a good thing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah everybody's good. Everybody's, right. Oh, shouts out to Shay. She's been not, she's just doing phenomenal things now. Getting nominated and on the cover of magazines. Yeah, sort of. Being featured in magic magazines and in that beautiful song. I'm good. I love that. It's such a beautiful song. It is. It is. They so did a great job. Shouts out to her, David Benton. That's mm-hmm. right. Beyond the Fence. Yeah, they, they've been grinding yeah. because I had David up, um, 
on Sunday, and he was he he was in the studio grinding till late hours. Yeah, he was up when I was yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. And speaking of David, he um, we releasing a he well he submitted us a, a music score to our short film that's about to be released under the Positive yeah. Power Original Films, and we kind of excited about this. Um, You'd be surprised how much work going to a short film. <laughs> I was like, wow, just oh, imagine yeah. a 90 That's minute fly. movie. You're throwing stuff away and putting stuff back in. I said, wow. Mm -hmm. So I'm just keep, yeah. stay, keep it short. Well, that, well, that's exciting because it's what? It's, it's a short film. It'll be airing. It's about domestic violence. And the music score is by David, is it not? David yep, Bent? By David Bent Beyond Wish. the Fence called yep. Wish. Called Wish. There you go. Yeah, that was an awesome piece. Give him a shout out. Yeah. Short film. It'll be airing on DeKalb Channel 25, Comcast, right here in Atlanta. Yep, yep. right on Late Night. It's going to be part of the mm -hmm. um the, the lineup with my docuseries, Who I Am. I said I have all these footage of all these black men talking about their journey, you know, you know, as a young man and into adulthood with and without fathers. So we're excited about that piece. So we, we're, we're ready to release this piece actually going to be re-released, but it'd be the first time it'd be released on television. So we're excited mm -hmm. about that. So that's going to be um, something that's going to be airing uh, after the, 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 um, the DV piece, the domestic violence movie is called DV. And we hope they have a series yeah. of those too. Um, we, we actually, actually have a cousin that lives in, in town. She actually has a cast of actors and we're also going to be working mm -hmm. really close to our, to our church because they have a performance arts program. So we're going to be introducing a whole lot of stuff. Once we get past all of this stuff, I can start having yeah. these meetings and, you know, and find out who can mm -hmm. write and cause I don't, you know, Batman don't write, don't do screen screenplays or you know whatever they call them screenplay. right so i'm hoping that uh, <laughs> out of that group yeah. of people there will be a, i know my cousin she does do that herself and we were working on a mm -hmm. piece together with that but i think she moved on because i took too long <laughs> i was working on another too long took too long you, did, you got a lot i had the empire I had, to, I had to focus on the on the, on the radio station the podcast I had to get yeah. this thing going that's a lot that's right you got a lot going on that man that's right but you know I love it all, though. You know, when Batman, you know, when God puts something on you, when He bless mm -hmm. you like He, the way He has blessed us, you know, with you know, because I, I grew up loving technology, and um, right. so of course right. when the television was, you know, black and white television and radio came about, you know, I want it all, <laughs> you know, just, just do be, it all, get it all. You gotta be careful what you wish for, because He will give it to you. Your plate will yes, be full. Will. My plate is full. My Word. cup is running over. <laughs> You know, I always say words have power, and whatever whatever we speak, it 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 then becomes. Yes, it is, and you it know, is, you speak yes. it, you speak it, and then you start working it. Yeah, that's right. And then right. it becomes. You know, um, what it is that you. I decide. wouldn't. I wouldn't even trying to take on all of this stuff. It wasn't the fact that you know we couldn't do it with any bit of quality. You know, we're able to, you know. You do it with quality, and mm -hmm. you know we get a lot of people inboxing. People want to be part of it so badly. They want their music played. They they want to be on the shows. Um, and I tell you all the time because I know you say you don't get those kind of inboxes, but you'd be surprised mm -hmm. what people are saying about you know what the shows are doing to their heart. So uh, that's what yeah, keeps amen. you keeps you going. You know we have five shows. Yeah, and I'm how many? I think over counting with Kimmy Kim, I think it's over thirty podcasts that airs daily. Um, she's always yeah. sending me shows. So, uh, you guys gotta, you guys yeah. gotta tap into some of those shows. There's some powerful, very intelligent, educated people who've been down that, that path where a lot of us been being transparent. Mm -hmm. Check out those shows. Y'all are some great podcasts. It's a lot to consider. Yeah. Cause it's, you know, there's always something for everyone because, you know, all of us on, on this journey called life, we all have different experiences and so many times we think we're the only ones that are going through it but you know as you're listening to all of these podcasts and all of these, all of these different guests you come across you know one or two persons even if it's one person that has had a similar journey or is going through a similar journey you know and you find that you find answers to what it is that you need you find encouragement to know hey I'm not the only one going through or this person has gone through this is what they did. They've come out on the other side. So now I'm encouraged because I have the tools that I need to come out on the other side. So you're right. You know, we just really reach so many people and it just, you know, just warms, warms my heart to know that, you know, so many are being blessed through, you know, the work that's done on Positive Power and, right. and, and the Positive Power family as well. 
And the good news is, you know, a lot of people look at this and say, wow, there's so many people doing gospel radio shows and podcasts. But just look at it like that. that's God's army at work. You're witnessing it right before your eyes. You know, you can tune in exactly. almost on any one of these Facebook channels or pages and somebody speaking about God or Jesus and what he has done for them. And that's a good thing. It's better than tuning in here and all this evil stuff that we get on our regular TV. Because I've been, I saw yeah. some crazy stuff today. <laughs> Shout out to Troy Edwards. <laughs> he, he about to work on a new movie and he sent me a clip to, to check out this young man who 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 lived that real woo, man what a life this guy lived now he's a, a christian rapper and and that footage mm-hmm. scared me i was like wow i don't know if i want to go there but you know right. that's that's the world that's part of our world and and that's the part it of the is. evil part of it you know yeah so, so we're gonna stop right there and we're gonna let our guests in because you know you and i could talk all night about, about <laughs> everything that uh, God has done for us all. All right, you ready to talk yeah. to these gentlemen? Let me say hi real quick to to uh, Mr. Catton Jones and 4G. What's up, gentlemen? How y'all doing? What's up, sir? How you doing, man? God is good. What's going on? What's going on? All is well. On, yeah, yeah. What's up, Mr. Jones? Welcome to Positive Power. 4G is not a stranger to, to Positive Power. He's always coming on with Ree all the time. So we finally got him on uh, late night. So uh, we're excited to hear what he has to say with the the gorgeous Paula G. The voice got him. All right, Paula, mm-hmm. you got him. I got him. I got him. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for joining us right here. On Positive Power 21, Late Night Radio with Jury Royce Live. Yours truly, Paula G., as well as Shay Samuels on the first and third Mondays. Yours truly on the second and fourth. Now, y'all got to send up some hearts to let us know that you're there, that you're listening. Please share these episodes because as we put these episodes together each and every week, we truly do so with you in mind. And tonight, 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 the men are in the house tonight. I've got two guests tonight. First of all, he's a singer, he's a rapper, he's a songwriter, he is a producer, vocal arranger, pastor, entrepreneur, he's a father, and he's a husband. And he is Mr. Canton Jones, along with his counterpart, who is known as 4G meaning the Godhead, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and his legal last name, 4G. Ladies and gentlemen, Robot, give us some love for Mr. Canton Jones and 4G. Gentlemen, how are you this evening? Uh, We got the hand clap. We got the hand clap. That's right. Yeah, yeah. We're good. We're good. How you doing, ma'am? We, I am fabulous. It is wonderful to have both of you in the house this evening to share with us your journey. I'm going to let Canton start first, and Kent, just tell us a little bit about you, yourself for those who may not know who Canton Jones is. Who is Canton Jones? Wow, that's that's a loaded question. Um, <laughs> for, for, well, I mean, for the most part, uh, I'm a lover of Jesus Christ, and I, and I, and I and I guess. People will assume that you know that, but nowadays, sometimes That's people, right. they front, you know, and so yeah. I, I, I am, you know, uh, what we do is, I, I call it kingdom music. Um, mm-hmm. um, I'm from a place called Deerfield Beach, Florida, and I live in Atlanta now. I've been here for a while. i uh, been doing music ever since I was a kid, um, started producing, and I've, I've, I've been on this journey for a long time, Grammy nominated, stellar award winning, uh, won uh, two doves, and um, God has blessed us in, in this career. And so uh, maybe a year and a half ago, um, uh, well, four years ago, we started a church called Free Life Church, mm-hmm. and uh, we allow uh, a lot of different rappers uh, and singers to come in and minister, and um, 4G we call him Jay, but 4G um, came and did his thing at Free Life, and we started a relationship. And and so uh, since then, I've had an opportunity to produce uh, on his uh, project along with some of my other brothers uh, to to really help support his ministry. He's doing very very big things in Florida, and uh, and so uh, you know we, we we're just kind of coming together to push one project for the first time which is called Kingdom Business 5. 
uh, where which is a compilation of like-minded artists from around the country. And so that's mm-hmm. what we're doing, man. And so 4G kind of set this thing up, and I'm 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 here to support my brother. Well, amen, amen. And I just want to also give you a shout out because, if I'm not mistaken, you you've been at it for close to 20 years. Yeah, is that right? It's been close. To- it's been close to 20 years because I remember about 20 years ago, I think he was a young 20-something year old on the stage at the rec center at Turner Chapel Amy Church in Marietta, Georgia. Yeah, and I think I that was that. the first time coming out the gate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, then, yeah. And, and then he was back here this year. It was either it was a New Year's or Youth Night, one of, one of those a couple months ago. Uh-huh. I think you were back as well. So it, it's just been a blessing to see your career grow over the years and throughout the years. And I would encourage young people who believe that this is their calling and believe that this is a journey that they have been called um, to be on to follow the career of Canton Jones, to see what success looks like, to see what hard work looks like, and to see what it takes to do what it is that, that 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 young people you feel that you have purpose to do. So shouts out to you, Canton Jones, and I wish you continued success and much success as well. And it's a beautiful thing to see you collaborating with, you know, other like minded men such as 4G. So 4G, tell us a little bit about your journey and how this collaboration came together. Well um Canton and I actually met uh, a little over a year ago down in Atlanta uh, doing okay. Super Bowl weekend at the uh, Super Bowl, uh, Super Bowl uh, tailgate party. Mm-hmm. And uh, like he said, you know, um, he invited me over uh, to his church uh, to do what they called it at that time. I think it was called Thursday Night Turnup. And uh, just over the course of time, he and I developed a relationship. Um, and um, I was um, – I was on a sort of a, a, a different journey at that particular time, but um, mm-hmm. God, um, God spoke to Canton and uh, Canton actually heeded to that voice and uh, just kind of poured into me and, uh, you know, just helped me become not just a better artist, but just a better all around, a better all around uh, uh, servant of Christ. Uh, yeah. If I can, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and uh, we we share a like mind uh, on this journey, this this kingdom business. I mean, uh, I often tell people, uh, God never commissioned us to do church business. He, he actually commissioned us to go out to the four corners of the world, mm-hmm. us, you know, doing kingdom business, and that's what we're all about. So that's what we're trying to do. We're just trying to get the message out there. You know, I always believe in seasons for everything, and how during each season of our life that God is preparing us for the next season. And you you have had a journey, you know, prior to this, this beautiful collaboration, you've had a journey that has prepared you for this collaboration. Name some of the, the tell us a, a bit about some of the biggest influences in your career that that helped you along the way, or that you drew something from them that, that helped you along the way to prepare you for where you are? Well, what actually prepared me was just the mm-hmm. um, foundation. Um, and it really, it, believe it or not, my foundation really uh, wasn't from a musical uh, perspective. It was from um, a spiritual perspective. Mm-hmm. All my life I've been, I've been raised in church and so forth. And uh, from the time I, I came into existence. I mean, all I ever experienced was heartache, um, just a bunch of disappointments, uh, rejection. I mean, you name it, I went through it. Yeah. And um, so, simply put, to answer your question, what prepared me for this journey mm-hmm. and got me to this point was simply life itself. Mm, uh, come on now. Just a, you're just a bunch of different setbacks. Um, you know, I mean, just... Um, being disappointed by people that I trusted, yeah. um, you know, it can, you know, family, friends. Uh, I mean, you name it. Like I said, I experienced yeah. it, but God got me through it all. And again, like I said, he he raised up a Canton Jones mm-hmm. to uh, 
this this small young man from a small town called Apalachicola, Florida. And uh, right. I would have never thought in my wildest dreams um, that I'd be working with such a, a prominent and well-respected individual such as him. But, uh, you know, God is God is totally amazing in that regard. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and uh, you know, I want to say publicly here, shout out to my man Canton again for just mm-hmm. uh, heeding to the voice of the Lord. Um, you know, so many times... Uh, there's there's actual individuals that's on his level that wouldn't even give an individual like me the time of day. But that's wow. the type of guy that he is. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He's mm-hmm. very genuine. You know, I've had the pleasure, me and my wife have the pleasure of making him hang out with his wife. And they're real. And I think, honestly, that's what the body of Christ is actually missing is genuine and authentic. Genuine. Mm-hmm. That can really, and, and especially when you when you've been through so much hurt and so much pain in in your life, you know, so so many of us have have been so broken, you know, as children. And I believe, correct, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe your your voice and and your and the gift that God gave you became your weapon of choice weapon to combat. Of yes, to combat yeah. those challenges of your childhood and that season in your in, in your in your childhood. Yeah, I um, I made up my mind a long time ago. Uh, mm-hmm. I think when I was, you know, I grew up without my biological, my biological father in my life. And for a long time, I mean, uh, I was uh, very broken by that void. And just over the course of time, um, I got to a place, I want to say I was 19, 20. I think mm-hmm. it was actually after I, heard, I had my first son. I had my first son when I was 20. And uh, I want to say a year after that, there I just put it in my mind, like you know what, I'm an adult now. Yeah. I have I have a child of my own. Uh, whereas I could allow uh, that brokenness to dictate my path, uh, just just God gave me this just extra boost of energy. I was like, you know what, I'm responsible for my own actions right now. And I'm gonna yeah. be honest with you, you know, um, if you want to get technical, I have. I have every reason known the man to be out here acting a nut, uh, so to speak. Mm-hmm. But I chose to just basically turn all those negatives into a positive. You chose. That's those are key words right there. You chose. You chose, and and I'm so glad you said that because it it, it does. Like you said, when you become an adult and you become a man, and and you know responsible for your own. Actions at that point, it, it it does become a choice. Well, I believe that's the greatest gift that God ever gave us. Any of us, mm-hmm. the greatest gift God ever gave us was the gift of choice. Come on, you know, now you're I mean, preaching now. <laughs> you won't even. I mean, even his own son, yeah. when he's mm-hmm. in the Garden of Gethsemane, he had a choice. When he prayed to the Father, he had a choice. He could have very well backed out and not gone to that cross on our behalf. Right. He had he had a choice. But through everything that he knew he was about to endure, he made the choice to die for a rich like me. Mm-hmm. And as and as and you know, I I love what you said about a choice because you know, knowing that that Christ made that sacrifice, you're showing your love, your respect, your appreciation by doing something positive with your life and pouring into your own children as well. Pouring into your own children and, and being being a good father to your you know to your own children as they you know begin this journey of life and as they take this journey of life and you know what we speak over ourselves what we speak into ourselves what we speak into our children I believe is so powerful and 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 I always say that words have power and when I was looking at some of your songs delayed but not denied unqualified amazing just to me those titles already told me something about your journey you know how you pour those experiences into your into your music can you share a little bit can you expound on that a little bit well the thing that happened out was my first mm-hmm. studio project uh, one mm-hmm. in which it actually took me a little over seven years to complete believe it or not so the title yeah. pretty much speaks for itself mm-hmm. exactly exactly time, and during that time of my life, uh, I was working with uh, an individual that actually gave more control over me than I probably should have. 
Mm-hmm. Um, you know, just looking over, back over that journey alone, I mean, I, I don't think that. I mean, I know it takes time in most cases to to finish any piece of work, mm-hmm. but seven years, as I reflect on it, was just way too much of uh, time. I feel like wasted. However, I'm a firm believer that you know everything is still done in God's timing. Yeah. So, uh, so the the I'm sorry. No, I was just saying. I was just going to say because you know seven is the number of completion. Absolutely. So it was reason, yeah. It was a reason took that seven years. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So after that first initial album was uh, completed, you know, I've, I've said this publicly time and time again. Mm-hmm. Um, doing the uh, actual release of it, you know, it didn't. It didn't do as well as uh, I had hoped, simply because I didn't have the support of uh, my current leadership at that time. Mm, and okay. I was hurt. I was really hurt. And um, but see, God had always spoken to me in dreams, and in these dreams, God showed me I'd be using my musical gift in San Marinas and people like Kirk Franklin and Yolanda Adams, Johnny McClurk, and, and saying when you and I sitting there having this casual conversation and debate with God and Jesus, like Lord, I mm-hmm. don't even know them people. So, <laughs> like, so like I said, mm-hmm. I, was, I was hurt. I was I, I was torn. When yeah. I was torn, I had to release, and it went from me actually having the opportunity to minister in front of, I'll say, less than about 50 people to two weeks later. He had me down in North Carolina opening for Leandro Johnson in front of thousands, just like Look at that. that. And, and right out the gate, he started putting things in motion that he had already shown me. And yeah. I mean, uh, and as you know, fast forwarding, I mean, you see now he later, he brought a can of Jones into my life. Mm-hmm. Um, so so God is definitely faithful, uh, which, you know, uh, the title don't qualify. Uh, there was uh, some points in my life to where, uh, you know, I, I take real full responsibility for all my actions, um, uh, good or bad. And there was uh, a point in my life to where I was living out of the will of God. Mm-hmm. Uh, during that time, uh, the Bible talks about the body of Christ loving us, you know, basically loving us and restoring us back with love. Uh, but that's not what happened in my case. Well, in my case was, you know, I was basically, you know, dropped. Um, the Bible talks about, you know, a good shepherd leaving at 99, going after that one. That's, that's been happening. You know, they mm-hmm. felt like there was no help in me. And, uh, and you have to understand also, I'm also in leadership, too. I'm a minister. Mm-hmm. So uh, whereas in, in, in men's eyes, uh, there was a point to where they, they had this expectation that I was supposed to be this perfect being, you know, uh, uh, never been arrested, uh, no kids out of wedlock, you know, all those things, you know, that ain't my story. You know, right. I had two kids. I had two kids. I, I had two kids out of wedlock. Um, you know, my my wife. You know, we actually conceived our daughter in sin, uh, but you know, we got married. You know, mm-hmm. we, we we made things right, or so we thought. But, you know, we did right. the right thing, and uh, you know, we we truly love and support each other. But uh, whereas God had forgiven me for the sins I had committed, man chose not to. Mm. And so in their eyes, this this calling that had God had given me to go out here and reach the lost, they felt as if I was unqualified to do so. So that's where the title un- unqualified came from. And um, of course, you know, um, everything has been on the up and up since I basically changed my mindset. When I quit looking at and focusing on man, and just looking for their validation, things along those lines. Uh, the guy, the sky has pretty much been the limit since then because when I put it in my heart, you know what? Man can't validate me in a way. Mm-hmm. My, 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 my purpose in life is to please God and please God alone. When I, when I made up my mind that I'm going to basically be about God's kingdom business, the sky has literally been the limit, and I have not looked back ever since. 
Come on. Come on. So that so that brings us up to the current song, Amazing. Which wow, features so, can't, so, so, yeah. Wow, he's totally amazing. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. So he's brought you from deli- denied, but not, den- I mean, delayed, but not denied, unqualified to absolutely amazing. Yes, yes. That's huge. <laughs> That's huge. <laughs> that Yes, that is huge. Well, we're going to listen to that in, in uh, just a few moments, and then we're going to come back on the flip side and uh, just uh, close out with a few things. But before we, we do that, I just have to ask this question. Take us back to those lunchroom battles, 4G. Take us back to those lunchroom battles in school. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, and how man. many of them wound up in ISS? <laughs> Uh, well, those were the days, uh, <laughs> you know, um, the, um, the art of hip hop was uh, definitely uh, different back then. Uh, yeah. It, I mean, it was a totally different era, mm-hmm. but uh, they were uh, very competitive, of course. Yeah. Um, uh, the biggest thing I think that came out of those uh, lunch room battles was the fact that uh, it gave me uh, courage to yeah. know that I was very well capable of uh, just, I mean, dealing with adversity. I mean, mm-hmm. handling when, when, when you when, yeah, when, when you're a competitor, I mean, and you're dealing with. I'm from a I'm from a small town where the people there we got heart, and mm-hmm. losing ain't no option. So right. they, they want to win just as bad as I do. You know, right. won some, I lost some. But, you know, it just kind of made me go harder. And the biggest yeah. thing that it actually did is it pushed me to go into uh, uh, those uh, those bedrooms at night and work harder mm-hmm. on uh, my uh, my writing ability. Yeah. And I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, right now, um, it has been said, so I'm basically repeating what has been said on my behalf. Yeah. I have been I have developed into a very gifted writer. A very Absolutely. gifted writer. Mm-hmm. And I, I believe it all goes back to that time that I was actually preparing, you know, twenty years ago. Yeah, because that was the foundation of your really the foundation of your work ethic. Because you're like, oh, no, they're not going to diss me here in the middle of the cafeteria. I'm going home tonight in my bedroom if I got to stay up all night. When I get back in that oh, cafeteria at lunchtime tomorrow, I'm going to knock it out. <laughs> man, we, we, was in the, we was in the cafeteria. We was on the road side. We were, and, I mean, we, <laughs> Yeah, that was, that was the foundation of your work ethic. 4G's like, oh, no, mm-mm, no, no, y'all not going to win over me. <laughs> y'all are not going to win over me. <laughs> well, Absolutely. take us. Take us, tell us a bit more about Amazing, and I want you to, um, well, tell us a bit more about Amazing, then I'll, then I'll let you know what we're going to do from there. Well, uh, again, uh, Amazing, uh, mm-hmm. it was... Uh, it was amazing? Uh, no pun intended. Yeah, so, totally, <laughs> totally. Uh, so, um, you're very familiar with uh, Canton, but the other gentleman on there, Terrence, he is one of those individuals that uh, he actually used to um, he used to go to church with. Mm-hmm. He's, he's currently serving in the United States Air Force, so he's since then, him and his wife have been deployed. Uh, mm-hmm. He and I have been grinding for uh, whew, about 10 plus years or whatever. And he's one of the few people, he's one of the very few people that during those dark times of my life mm-hmm. that he never turns back on me. And because mm-hmm. of his love and loyalty to me, when this opportunity presented itself, uh, there was no question who I was going to extend that love back to. I mean, because he's he's extremely gifted himself. And I've often tell him, you know, uh, because of his writing ability, the way he uh, put punchlines together just blow my mind. So I basically told him, I said, hey, man, you're the standard that I want to get to, you know, to me, because he's, he's that good. He yeah. really is. And um, like I said, because of the the loyalty and uh, just our unconditional brotherhood uh, of love that we have for each other, 
uh, we, we got together, you know, chopped it with KJ, you know, when uh, there was an additional, there was a, uh, another track initially that was attached to this song. And uh, mm-hmm. there was some, uh, some things that came about the way we had to go in a different direction. And because of that, uh, uh, Captain actually produced Amazing. He actually mm-hmm. did the track for Amazing on my behalf, yeah. And um, he wanted to give it a, a different type of a vibe or whatever, uh, something a little bit more relevant, mm-hmm. um, something a, a little bit more for the millennials and so forth. And I think he nailed it. He nailed it. Yeah. He mailed it down. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are just joining us, this is Late Night Radio with Jerry Royce Live and Paula G right here on Positive Power 21. And we are having a conversation with Canton Jones and 4G, both of which have shared their journey through music. They've shared their journey and how God has used them to minister and to bless others and to encourage others. And we've just been talking about the uh, song Amazing and 4G. I'm going to have you set it up so you can take us right in to listening to Amazing. You know what? I'm going to get an honor to my man, K. Joe. He's still on the line. K. Joe, <laughs> I'm going to get an honor. Oh, honor he, he, done passed. He, you, he has passed the baton. Mr. Yeah, Jones. man. Hey, I'm here just enjoying the ride, bro. Oh, <laughs> no. He, he, you that, shotgun. You shotgun tonight, so he's he's switching the nah, seats. You in the driver's seat now. You do now. the honor. You, you do <laughs> all right, man. All right. Well, Kent Jones here. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, um, I have the privilege of working with this this guy. This is my brother now. Um, very humble brother, but hard worker, gifted writer, and he's about to show y'all what it is. Uh, also, the video is out there. Go check it out. Uh, we're we're on the top of some building in Atlanta. Uh, about to get arrested. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? I was just about to say that. I'm like, wait a minute, you on top of some building? <laughs> about well, yeah, to get we, a, I was we, just going to say that. <laughs> yeah, we shot we shot it um, on the top of a building, but they were shooting a movie like uh-huh. downstairs. And so uh, we had to hurry up and get it done. So, but it, 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 it was done. a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. So here it is, yeah. y'all. Amazing KJ 4G. Yes, sir. You're listening to Joe Slide Worldwide Podcast. Yeah, you're so amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're so amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're so amazing. Yeah, yeah. You're so amazing. I was touched by you, so astonishing. You should look bright, so promising. You're a great wonder, no wonder. Lord, you're amazing. You're so amazing. I'm amazed by you. I'm in awe. Your ways are perfect. Lord, you're amazing. You're so amazing. Yeah. I remember on the day that 
pray for more today. You're never leaving over saying me. I think the world got it mixed up. Selling your soul for the big bucks. Gotta go to God, get it fixed up. Gotta go to God, get it fixed up. Y'all stay low, get it picked up. No nigga wanna put your hiccups. And ladies and gentlemen, this is Late Night Radio with Jerry Voice Live and Paula G. And you were just listening to Amazing by 4G featuring Canton Jones and Terrence. Is it Rabby? Is that correct? Rabby. Rabby. You know, that was my first choice. You should always go with your first choice. Rabby. <laughs> 4G, before we go, I'm, I'm going to ask you my signature question. If you have the opportunity to sit in front of the young 4G at his darkest moment. You had an opportunity to sit in front of him during his darkest moment. What would you tell him? Talk to him. Well, you know, um, with time and age and growth that becomes uh, a point of maturity, Mm-hmm. And there's some things I look back on right now that, you know, I kind of second guess and question about uh, my decision making. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, I'm going to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. Um, I probably wouldn't change anything uh, mm-hmm. that led up to this point. I honestly mm-hmm. wouldn't because There's, there's this old cliche, you know, that the Lord won't put more in there than what you can bear. Mm-hmm. And I think, you know, the fact that he knew us before we even were birthed into this world, he knew what I could and what I couldn't handle. Mm-hmm. And um, my circumstances made me a very strong individual. It made me very strong will. It, it, it gave me the ability to uh, endure things. Um, so I wouldn't, honestly, I wouldn't change anything because mm-hmm. it actually made me to the man that I am. However, if I was to have a conversation with myself, mm-hmm. uh, it was, I would simply ask myself or talk to myself in a sense like, hey, man, think about what you're doing. Mm. You know, um, is, is it really worth it? Um you do realize it's going to affect you, right? Mm, come on. You know, you know. I, I would ask myself those type of questions. I would yeah. have that type of conversation with myself because, you know, I'm a realist. Um, but I was going to say that uh, not to make any excuses for anything because that's not who I am. Yeah. But I was, but uh, I was just cards that had to be played as well. And, I just think the the mental capacity of my mindset at certain stages of my life couldn't grasp what direction to actually maneuver during those stages in my life. I I, I mean, I just, I wasn't there. But um, through it all, you know, God did bring me through it. Yeah. Despite all that, 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 despite all my mistakes, you know, he he knew the mistakes I was going to make. Uh, mm-hmm. Back then, and he he knows how to continue to fall short moving forward. Uh, but I just think right now, uh, as opposed to back then, the difference is I have a total different mindset. But what I thought was important back then, I'm right. looking at right now, like you know, wow, dude, what mm-hmm. were you thinking? What were you thinking? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, like, like really, I mean. A prime example is uh, I'm a very transparent individual, and uh, I uh, like I told you I have two kids out of wedlock. Mm-hmm. One of them, you know, uh, my middle son, I believe his mother, uh, no disrespect to her, but mm-hmm. I believe she's the devil in the flesh. Just mm-hmm. honest. I mean, a, a lot of guys talk about having that baby mama from Haiti. You know, mm-hmm. I think I've met her. I think I've met her. But mm-hmm. a conversation that I have with myself right now is. What was I thinking about when I dated this woman? Like mm-hmm. we have nothing. Like we have nothing in common. Mm-hmm. Only in a life. different season, right? I don't even yeah. like you as a person. You know, I'm not, I don't even like you. 
Mm-hmm. But I believe the result of I, I believe what I dealt with during that season concerning mm-hmm. my son was the result of the sin, the fact that my son was conceived in sin. So mm-hmm. whereas I made the decision to forgive her, move on, and try to go in a totally different direction. I told you earlier the greatest gift that God gave us was the gift of choice. So she's not at the point yet to where she's able to let go of whatever the case may be, whatever she's holding on to. But I did. But because she's not willing to let go of what happened back then, I still have to deal with the result of that sin and that choice I made back then. Mm-hmm. But you know, as as we and, and I thank you for sharing that because I think it's 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 always so interesting to hear um, what you know a now more seasoned self would speak into you know a, a, a younger self, and it, it's always it always comes out. The result is always you know the journey. The result is always the wisdom, the maturity that has been gained you know over the years. What what share with us before because we have a video um and I believe it's Oprah we have a vid- a video that we're going to play as we close out the show but but share with us how the audience can stay connected and support Canton Jones and 4G well my website is www.4grockmusic.com and all my social media uh, Facebook Instagram um Twitter and uh, YouTube is also at 4G Rock Music. Uh, be sure to please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, KJ? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, <laughs> um, T H E Canton Jones um, on Instagram and tw- uh, Twitter mm. and uh, Facebook. I'm, I'm also on Facebook, so you can find me on Facebook. And uh, CantonJones.net is the site, you know, or you know, you can get. You know, we love to come and minister to the young people or whoever. Um, yeah. But I, the uh, the project that we're doing is called Kingdom Business Five. He has his own project, and I have a project that's coming out. That's called Power, and Power is coming out April third, and Kingdom Business Five is coming out a week before that. And and, and so the purpose of Kingdom Business Five is as a general to do what I just did tonight, to, yeah. to light a torch. You know, I'm not passing a torch now. I'm lighting. Mm, the light, the <laughs> torch. I like that. Yeah. There's yeah, a I'm difference. Not, I'm not, I'm not yes. passing it. I'm lighting you just light the torch. You just yeah, light the torch. Yeah, and so you, 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 my job is to um, to make sure he's good, sit back, and let him burn, and let him do what he got to do. And right. so... A lot of times, people won't lend their platforms to to light other torches, but that's what yeah. God called me to do. And so, Amen. and so, um, I, I am. Uh, he, I know he texted me a couple of times to say I was if I was still on, but I'm here. But I'm I'm just chilling and, and really proud of the progress <laughs> that he's made and the maturity that he's sharing uh, and his walk and his journey. Um, uh, the song that you're about to play uh, is called Oprah. And uh, there was a show that Oprah did <laughs> back in the day where she was passing out them cars. You get a car. You yes, get a car. you yeah. get a car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, and uh, and so I um, wrote a song that says, "I believe that God is about to start passing out miracles like Oprah did." And oh, so um, that's 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 especially in this season. Uh, this is a season where people need to hear that God is still in the healing business. He's still in the miracle working business and God is not dead that he's yet alive. And so people need to understand that God's about to start passing out miracles, especially dealing with this virus that we're dealing with, that yeah. that the power of life and death is in the tongue. And so we speak life and that this virus um, has a cure and there there is minimal or no loss of life. We have to say that. I don't care yeah. when the world is, is panicking. We have, have to, to say, speak it. Yeah, uh, we have to speak life. You know, where speak else life, life mm-hmm. is going to come from if it don't come from the believer? And right. so, 
that's what that's our job. And so I told her, I was like, well, we're going to let the political people do what the political people do. We're going to let the doctors diagnose and do what they do. We're going to let the, uh, the news people do what they do. And as a believer and as a pastor and as a musician, I'm getting ready to do what I'm what I do. And my job mm-hmm. is to put out the positivity that I believe that God is about to pass out miracles like Oprah did, you know. And so um and uh, so it's a dope, it's a dope song. It's gonna be on my upcoming project, but that single is available worldwide right now wherever you buy music, um, streaming, I guess. Um, and so, Kingdom Business will be in stores. Power will be streaming. Uh, Kingdom Business will also be um, streaming as well. And so, it's a bunch of music that 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 we're getting ready to put out. And not only that, but just I'm just getting ready to release. Uh, music against the enemy, man. Um, mm-hmm. um, there are there are uh, married people that, are because of whatever the sanctions have that have been given by the government, have been home more than usual. And it's yes. some wives looking at husbands and saying, "Can't you take a walk?" Because <laughs> <laughs> they're not used to being together. Yeah, they they're not yeah. used to spending that much time with each other. And so uh, right along with Kingdom Business 5 and Power that I'm getting ready to release, my wife sings as well, and we're going to do uh, what we call a honeymoon record. And we're going to do a honeymoon part two and, and put out some music so that y'all, you know, we can, you know, uh, rekindle that fire back in our marriage, yeah. especially since you have to stay home, you know. Ain't nowhere to go. You, you, you drive right. down the street. And you got to come, and come right back. back home. You can't go to the club. You can't go to church. You can't go nowhere. Can't go no nowhere. Can't, can't go to the gotta, gym. Can't go to the, be- gotta, to the beach. Nowhere. You got you to gotta look at that. Now, this is, this is the literal translation of I want to spend my life with you. Because there you go. It's literal. <laughs> it's literal. 24-7. That's a whole can't. That's a yeah. whole nother show right there, Darla. We need. We probably yeah. need to do a whole nother show and how to coexist twenty four seven with your spouse, with, with your well, helpmate. Uh, and, and the trip about it is, I've been doing it. Me and my wife, we of course run the um our label and the ministry. We've been doing that for years, like you said, twenty years. And every every place you 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 seen me, she's been either somewhere in the building or she she made Absolutely. it happen. She booked it, you know. Absolutely. And so um, we've learned how to coexist, mm-hmm. and 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 when you can't go to work or you can't, you know, my my parents uh, are in heaven now, but they were. I'm from Florida, so I mm-hmm. can't run home to mama. That's a that's a ten twelve right. hour trip, you know. That's and my right. parents are, uh, they're here now, but they were in Dallas, so mm-hmm. she couldn't run home to mama. Uh, and so and so we just learned how. To, to you know, we're coming up on almost uh, 19 years of marriage this year, and so we 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 we, we kind of know what we're talking about a little bit, you know. Right. <laughs> so um, so that's but that's what we're doing in this season, using the uh, the music to minister to the people uh, where they are right now. Well, you know, we we have we have a live tape, the next live taping of my journey with Paula G, which airs right here on WATC in Atlanta. We tentatively have that scheduled for the first weekend in May. So prayerfully, I will see you both, both of you gentlemen there, because that would be two great shows. Canton, if if you're able to make it, we're going to have to at least do one segment on relationships and what and, and what the keys to a successful relationship. We got to go. We're running out of time. Gentlemen, thank you so very much. But before we go, Pastor Jones, can I have you close this out in prayer? And then we'll go right into music. All right. Father God, we love you for this is the day that you've made. Uh, we rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you, God, for this platform, for the show, for the anointing. Uh, We thank you for everybody behind the scenes that's making this happen. Uh, We declare, God, that there is an uh, an increase in listeners and an increase in resources in Jesus' name and that people will be healed and set free and delivered and and encouraged from listening to these broadcasts and these podcasts. We love you, God. We thank you for this music, uh, for 4G, uh, for the beautiful young lady that has uh, uh, spent this hour with us 
And we thank you, God, for what you're getting ready to do in this season and that miracle signs and wonders are getting ready to happen. I, I still declare, God, in Jesus' name, that 2020 is the best year of my life. It might be the worst year for others, but it's the best year of my life. And I have power in what I say, and things are, are, are turning in our favor and in the favor of the people that's listening right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Family, thank you for joining us. Embrace the journey. Hey, you are listening to Jerry Orson Worldwide Podcast. Like Oprah did. You get a miracle. You get a miracle. You get a miracle. You get a miracle. I believe that God's got to start passing out miracles. God's about to start passing out miracles. Like Oprah. You get a miracle. You get a miracle. You get a miracle. Oprah. You get a miracle. You get a miracle. I believe that God's about to start passing out miracles. God's about to start passing out miracles. Like Oprah. You get a miracle. Now, come on, bro. Let's go. Seven on the beat. Feel up, feel up, feel up, feel up, feel up. Let's go. Feel up, boys. Feel up, boys. Y'all come on. Listen. Huh? I believe that God's about to start passing out miracles. God's about to start passing out miracles. Like, oh, bro. You get a miracle. You get a miracle. You get a miracle. Oh, bro. You get a miracle. You get a miracle. I'm about to start passing out miracles. God's about to start passing out miracles. Me, I'm digital, blessing from the spirit of the physical. Anybody need a miracle? Won't let the devil.
You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast.